like to welcome you to our current event in weekly Bible study for August 9th, 2009. And today we're going to be doing a dedicated study on, well, really on the Bohemian Grove primarily, but we're also going to be talking about things that are related to this subject, like um, the fallen angelic evil deity Lilith. Uh, we're going to be talking about Molech. We're going to be talking about also Minerva and Athena. And because it relates to this subject, there's a little bit of confusion regarding um, that, the, the whole, uh, how the owl itself, the bird, the owl, figures into this whole thing with the Bohemian Grove and a lot of the different people that are members of the Bohemian Grove. And this is going to be kind of a, a very in-depth uh, study in the Bohemian Grove, but it's also going to be a Bible study as well. We're going to be looking at some of the verses that relate to these subjects. And just to give you a little bit of an overview uh, on the Bohemian Grove, uh, the, the Bohemian Grove is a 2,700-acre campground located at 20601 Bohemian Avenue in Mont Rio, California, belonging to a private San Francisco-based men's art club known as the Bohemian Club. In mid-July of each year, the Bohemian Grove hosts a... Uh, I had a hard time getting an exact date. I've heard 16 days, two weeks, three weeks, uh, but it's in that time range. They, own, they host this encampment of some of the world's most powerful men. And uh, I'm going to provide all the information, pretty much all the information we're talking about today on a PDF form. And... Uh, this particular one even gives the coordinates on a, on a GPS of where it's actually located. And the first picture you'll see on here, or one of the first pictures, is a picture of um, Ronald Reagan, Harvey Hancock, Richard Nixon, and Glenn Seberg at the Bohemian Grove. And they're giving a, uh, this one guy, Harvey Hancock, is, looks like he's giving a, uh, a speech. Ronald Reagan's on his right hand and Richard Nixon is on his left hand. That's Ronald Reagan. That's Richard Nixon. And uh, a lot of uh, things, there's been a lot of important speeches given here and a lot of very uh, big, uh, uh, I don't know if you could call it business, but things that would affect the political climate on a global scale have been decided at the Bohemian Grove. And... Um, even though that's that's what they say it's not for, but the bottom line remains is that it, it's happened there. And this picture is from 1967, and taken at what they call the Owl's Nest Camp, which there's different alcoves and places you can go within this 2,700-acre complex. So this all-male membership of the Bohemian Club includes artists, musicians, prominent business leaders, government officials, and many former U.S. presidents, senior media executives, uh, the power brokers. Members may invite guests to the Grove, although guests are subject to a screening procedure. A guest's first glimpse of the Grove is typically during the spring jinx, that's what they call it, in June, preceding the main July encampment. After 40 years of membership, the men earn the, quote, old guard status giving them the reserve seating at the Grove's daily talks, as well as other prerequisites. Nevertheless, up to 2,900 members and guests have been reported as attending some of the annual encampments. The membership list has included every Republican U.S. president since 1923, as well as some Democratic presidents. Many cabinet officials, directors, CEOs of large companies, including major financial, financial institutions, major military contractors, Oil companies, banks, uh, inc and are in including the Federal Reserve. Utilities, including nuclear power and the national media, broadcast and print have high-ranking officials as the club's um, members or guests. Okay, the club's motto is, quote, weaving spiders come not here. Now, I did a little research, and that's taken from Shakespeare's a Midsummer Night's Dream. And again, what they do, the, the primary thing they do is during the midsummer, so it's appropriate that they would use this as their motto. This motto, weaving spiders come not here, implies that outside concerns and business deals are to be left outside, but that really doesn't happen as 
you know, we've already mentioned. When, gather, when gathered in groups, the Bohemians usually adhere to the injunction uh, of, you know, outside businesses to be left outside. Though the discussion of business often occurs between pairs of members, important political and business deals have been developed at the Grove. The Grove is particularly famous for the Manhattan Project planning meeting that took there in September of 1942, which subsequently led to the atomic bomb. So again, that's a pretty major thing that was decided there. Those attending this meeting, apart from Ernest Lawrence and military officials, included, this is the Manhattan meeting project, uh, they included the president of Harvard, the college, representatives of Standard Oil and General Electric. Grove members take particular pride in this event and often relate the story to new attendees, I guess in order to impress them or whatever. The tradition of the summer encampment was established six years after the Bohemian Club was formed in 1872. Henry Harry Edwards, a founding member, announced that he was relocating to New York to further his career. So on June 29, 1878, somewhat less than 100 Bohemians gathered in the Redwoods in Marion County near Taylorville, uh, which is the present-day Samuel P. Taylor State Park, for an evening send-off of Ed in Edward's honor. Freely flowing liquor and some Japanese lanterns put a glow on the festivities, and the club members retired to a late hour in modest comfort on blankets laid on a dense mat of redwood needles. This is just an account. I'm just trying to give you an overview of what is this, this Bohemian Club. This is where it started in 18... Uh, 1878, and then this festive gathering was then repeated the next year without Edwards and became the club's annual encampment, and that's how it started. That's how it started, way back in, in 1878. By 1882, the members of the club camped together at various locations in both Marion and Sonoma County, including the, prescien, the present day Myrrh Woods um, and a Redwood Grove that once stood near Duncan Mills, several miles down what they called the Russian, Russian River, Russian River. Now, that's the overview. Now we're actually going to start getting into um, the expose as far as exposing what's going on there. So the strange and secretive, secretive group, which have received very little press coverage, have a 40-foot concrete owl as its central symbol. Um, and this is what they actually perform supposedly mock sacrifices in front of. Now, there's a whole video you can watch, and I'll, I'll mention this probably again, that where Alex Jones actually infiltrated the Bohemian Grove and went in there and recorded one of these. And there's a link on this PDF. Um, and also, I, I've got a new, a new website, and uh, praise the Lord for a listener. Um, and he went and put up this website for me, and it's really amazing. Um, we're going to ultimately be able to have all all the teachings up there, all the PDFs that you see up on Sermon Audio, uh, all my newsletters, eventually. It's going to take a little while to get it all up there, but right, right now it's already up and running, and it's called contendingfortruth.com. And let me just double-check that, making sure I'm giving you the right website address. You do not have to enter www. It's just contendingfortruth one word dot com and uh, I just praise the Lord for this website. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be the answer to a lot of prayers and um, he's just doing this out of the goodness of his heart. Uh, very professionally done type of thing. I'm, I'm just absolutely overwhelmed with it and I Again, I do thank you for, for um, my listeners, for your prayers, and for um, all those that have uh, donated to this ministry. And it's what it's done, too, is it's enabled me to pretty much go into a full-time ministry at this point um, with the donations that have come in and these types of things. So I, I do, uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for that and uh, praise the Lord for that. So if we go further... Uh, they're using this 40-foot owl as its central symbol. Okay. Now Jesus said in John 18.20, In secret have I done nothing. 
But see, everything about this particular Bohemian club and grove is, 